Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how the interactive dashboard in Excel is developed. First, let me uh, do a demo of this dashboard. If you place mouse on any of these down arrows, the corresponding chart will be loaded at the bottom half of the dashboard. That's what the interactive part means. Uh, this is done in uh, an interesting way. A technique that I have learned from uh, Jordan who writes at option explicit vba.blogspot.com. Uh, this is based on the hyperlink formula that we have learned recently on chandu.org. Let me very quickly demonstrate the basic ingredients here. If you place the mouse here, Excel is going to uh, run a small user defined function that is internally changing which chart is it that we are showing here once the value is changed automatically the chart gets changed that is the whole logic let us just select this cell and see what formula it has this is as i said a hyperlink so forget the if error portion for the time being you can see that hyperlink and i am calling highlight series of b3 and i am telling hyperlink uh, to just run that particular function and return the value and link to it now this may seem almost cryptic why would a hyperlink be uh, linked to a user defined formula usually we are familiar with hyperlink but we use we use a website address like for example hyperlink uh, http google.com to indicate that this is a hyperlink to google right and if you click on this it would take you to google similarly you can also write a hyperlink that can link to any of the mac uh, any of the user defined formulas that you have defined so let us say you have a formula that uh, you know that does something funny like a funny formula if you link it like that whenever you click on it excel would run this this formula that is the intention but excel also runs the formula whenever you place mouse on the hyperlink i think this is because excel must evaluate the formula and keep it ready so that should you click on it excel should perform that action so maybe excel preemptively runs it i have no idea why that happens but it happens and it happens uh, so that we can build something awesome like this so let us just see the whole in, uh, technique behind this now all we got to do is i place mouse on here i have to just change this chart source data so that it now shows sales information whenever the mouse goes here i have to change the chart source data so that it shows expenses so that's what i'm doing the formula that i'm calling is highlight series and i am linking it to the cell b3 so the same formula is here but it is linked to c3 d3 e3 like that let us just go ahead and examine the data as well this is the data for the uh, i think i have a free spin enabled somewhere yeah that should be fine great okay so this is the data these first five columns are our data month and sales expenses profits and number of customers and based on what is it that i have selected right which of which of these things that i have selected i am changing these values the value number four and uh, sorry i am changing this this value right val cell option this value so as soon as this changes we will find the position of that value inside this list so we know that number of customers is the fourth value in this list so essentially we need to extract all the fourth uh, column values from this this little table if i place mouse on expenses you can see that expenses will be here and this is second value and this is it but how do I get expenses here as soon as the mouse is placed there? That is where the macro, the user defined form formula comes into picture. The basic technique is like this. So we just right click on this and go to view code and open a new module. And here I have written a public uh, function, public function highlight series, series name as range. And all I am doing here is range of val cell option 
that is this particular uh, let me just uh, resize this a bit right if you remember this is the val cell option this cell i am calling it as val cell option i could i could just use ac18 as the cell address but uh, this is probably easier to uh, remember and the code also looks clean so range of val cell option is equal to whatever may be the series name that i have passed uh, dot value so in this case the first formula is b3 so b3 of b3's value is sales so sales will be loaded into that cell in this case it is c3 so c3's value expenses will be loaded onto that cell that's how it works so as you place mouse here the value will be constantly writing to that cell and whenever this changes we will be changing this value as well because this formula is linked to that cell so this cell changes the formula gets updated and you get new value here whenever that changes all these values are changing because i am using index formula uh, to fetch a corresponding second value from this list like that right and then we are using this particular range of values to construct this chart if you uh, click on this blue series you can see that the chart is actually coming from these values month is here uh, series name series values are here i have used a fancy series name uh, title so that we could show some descriptive title like monthly breakup of expenses jan december 2010 but the values themselves are coming from the last column which is dynamic in nature so as i change here i get new values there and automatically the chart gets refreshed so i hope you understood the basic part of this uh, you may be wondering this is all fine chandu but how do i uh, do something on my own let me show a simple example to you for example uh, we will create a new sheet we want to place two uh, links here if i put my mouse on this link i want to show some descriptive message here if i put some my mouse on there i want to so, show some other descriptive message here right this is what we wanted to just for fun so we will just call this as link one and link two uh, and here uh, we can just resize it and maybe merge these two cells and this is b4 right in b4 i wanted to show a message like you have selected link one like that and if i place mouse on here i wanted to show the same message but link two we'll order wrap it and maybe align it in the middle so it looks nicely like that link one and link two and based on whatever is selected i wanted to show that cells address here the cells value here so I, I click on uh, I can right click here say view code and go to the module we have defined uh, this is the module inside this I'm going to write another function called public function update uh, update message is fine although it is not that descriptive update message uh, this this cell as range so this function would take up a range as input uh, the range will be in this case a single cell address like b2 or c2 and it would just show the value in, in b4 so i'm just going to write b4 equal to uh, sorry you have selected this cell dot value right so that's what happens well, let us see uh, i click here i just replace this with hyperlink update message and actually that is the cell value so we could uh, we could use hyperlink here update message and that cell right now here is the interesting part even though hyperlink would work with like would, would work with the uh, with formulas it will throw up a hash value error because excel is not configured to work uh, with hyperlinks that are pointing to formulas 
so to overcome this limitation we will just have to use if error formula to kind of wrap it and use something like you know click here and i can just drag this sideways so that the same formula is here and now you can see if i place my mouse here i can see that this cell is changing to link one link two link one link two so this is how you can very quickly put together a nice example there are a couple more tricks that i wanted to teach you number one uh, if this cell is too wide let us say these cells are that wide then if you place mouse here it is not working but only the hyperlink works for the word whatever is the underlined portion only the hyperlink works up to that it won't work in this blank area to overcome that limitation you can select the cells you can select both cells in fact and go to home and enable word wrap now the entire cell becomes a clickable area so that is one interesting trick the second trick is sometimes you may want to use some sort of symbol to indicate here is a retail like in this case we use it the down arrow you can get a nice looking down arrow symbol by uh, instead of using this entire click here you can use the number six and select the cell and go to fonts and change this to web dings sorry so in web dings font the number six corresponds to a down arrow you can see a lot of other symbols that are available to you readily in in various fonts for example if you go to uh, wing dings or something you would see some interesting symbols so whatever works for you you can pick that and use so that is how you can uh, make your hyperlinks uh, use hyperlinks to make your workbooks interactive and correspond to mouse events I just wanted to warn you that go easy on this kind of code because it may slow down your workbook. Whenever I place mouse on this, Excel is constantly running that little macro and changing the values. Although you don't see it here because it is so fast. In larger models, this kind of uh, tend to slow it down. So maybe go easy on that. The second thing that you should keep in mind is uh, when you save this workbook and email it to a colleague, they are going to get a warning saying this workbook contains macros. Do you want to enable it? And if they do not enable the macros, then they won't see this uh, rollover effect. So that is something that you want to keep in mind. How do we get this highlighting that is done through conditional formatting? And I'm not going to go into those details because you can figure them out yourself. I hope you have enjoyed this short video lesson and I wish to see you more often on Chendu.org. You have a great weekend then. Bye-bye.